I tested the Apple Vision Pro for the last seven days and I have a lot of mixed feelings about this device. There are parts of this thing that are absolutely amazing. I don't see if someone's strapping a friggin' screen to their face all day. Augmented reality is a profound technology. It looks like a pair of fancy ski goggles, as you can see. See, we've all heard how heavy it is and the battery life is not the best. But what no one is talking about is what is spatial computing. Apple Vision Pro will introduce us to spatial computing. I I believe the metaverse is the next chapter for the internet. Is the world ready for all of this? The era of spatial computing is here. See, in my opinion, this device is not a headset. It's a spatial computer that's combining the apps with the physical space around us. They're combining VR with AR. Let me explain like what that means. See, what spatial computer does is it actually augments our reality, but it actually goes a step further to understand like our space and how, how actually humans interact with our space. It's essentially merging like the digital world with the physical world. For example, I'm gonna show you this F1 video that I recorded outside. There is this app which shows you the real life 3D models and you can make them as big as you want in real size and you can separate them. So this app on Apple Vision Pro is actually called Jig Space. I'm gonna show you real quick. And I'm gonna show you in real life a F1 car. So we're gonna see a real life F1 car and we're gonna select it. And I'm gonna show you in the parking lot how big we can make it. So place the, there we go. So we have this giant like F1 car right in front of us. We can make it like humongous. We can make it like 50 feet if you wanted to right here. So we have this giant F1 car right in front of us. We uh, can take the parts apart. We can take the tires apart. And just like uh, how Robert Downey Jr. in the movie Iron Man did it with all his parts, we're gonna do that. So we're taking all the parts apart so we can understand what's inside the engine. And this is so cool. I actually really wanna, really wanna learn what's behind this technology. So here we go, we've deconstructed a whole F1 car and it's beautiful. And, and like the beauty is like, how you can kind of control it. Like you can control the engine, you can bring it closer to you, you can zoom in. Like I am completely zoomed in, locked in to see all the parts. So how does it work? In this case, this device is actually using sensors. It has depth cameras. It has 3D trackers to sense and track like the nearby human bodies. Like it's tracking our hands, our fingers. And it's also using computer vision to actually understand the real world scenes like reading labels or recognizing objects, creating like 3D maps. And in terms of the spec, it has two 4K screens, creates about a staggering 23 million pixels to recreate the world to merge the outside world with the inside world. Not just engineers, even doctors can use this. Uh, they have a human heart in this procedure and I'm gonna quickly show you a human heart. And right here, we have a human heart. And the cool thing is you can actually break it apart. So you can break the heart into, and look at it. As compared to the building, it's as big as the building. And you can really understand, like, I imagine if you were like an artist who likes to draw or make 3D models and understand like each little thing, uh, that would be like, the way to go. I also had an emotional experience using spatial video. If you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you can actually record spatial video and you can rewatch those videos wearing the Apple Vision Pro. And what it does is, it's imagine like it's 3D, but you're more immersed in it. It's one of the best 3D videos that I've ever seen before. Just imagine like rewatching videos of your family, of your loved ones, if you're living far away from them or if they've passed away. Reliving those moments are beautiful, unlike anything I've ever experienced before. You might be wondering like what are some other cool things you can do with this device another cool thing you can do is connect your mac to your vision pro and you'll have a 100 inch screen you can adjust it it'll mirror your exact screen i mean if you're a video editor or you create visual art like i went to school for industrial design i wish we had this back then this really comes in handy when you're doing all that and it also has a software called vision os that allows users to interact with apps with their eyes and fingers and unlike other vr devices like you always had to have a remote control this is much 
much better because you can just select things with your fingers and your thumb that's how you usually select them so you can swipe scroll the only downside is i don't see people typing long essays with this it can be quite exhausting in my opinion this device is not going to replace your laptop probably because you're gonna feel a little bit fatigue after wearing it for like an hour i was wearing it max 45 minutes but it really gives us a glimpse of a future where vr and ar intersects and i just want to see how this will make people more productive again this is not something people should replace with going outside but i hope this can make people more productive but what i'm excited about is the future of spatial computing and future of mixed reality and what it unfolds like what kind of opportunities it brings us and what kind of creativity it brings for our species for our humans i'm really excited and i'm really looking forward to that lastly if you're like me and curious about emerging technologies like this one hit that subscribe button and i'll do my best to keep you updated on the latest technology thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video